Hey there, how's it going? David in Arc here. Today, I wanted to answer one of the questions that I get a lot, especially with my BeamNG videos, where it looks like I'm doing some kind of VR thing. Well, it's actually not VR. It's this thing called Track IR. And the way this works, as you can see, it's attached to my headset. And uh, it's got a USB cable that comes down, plugs into the computer. And then there's another part of it that is, this is the transmitter. And then there is another part that is the receiver. And the receiver is a little box that sits on top of the monitor. And it reads the signals coming from the headpiece. Uh, you can see, it's a little hard to tell in this video, but you can tell one of the sides is lit up green. And that means that it actually detects the fact that it can see the... Uh, transmitter here, the little, the little uh, infrared dots, and then when I'm in a game, both sides will light up. So the way this works is uh, there is a Track IR app, and this is actually really weird and very cool, but this is where I can get in here and I can set my location. So for example, right now, because I've been moving around, it's a little off, but I can uh, sit here and if I hit this F12 key, that will recenter where it thinks I am. So one of the other things you can do is you can actually look in here and you can see <laughs> what the thing looks like. Uh, I can also do left. So you can see what that looks like from the left. There's all kinds of stuff. I usually do first person as you know, and, and really the only reason why you really have to mess with the track IR software at all is just to make sure that you're seeing things correctly, that everything is centered, um, which is pretty close. So we'll, we'll call that good. Now, what happens at this point is I will go into beam NG. And then as I look around, you will see me turning my head. All right, here we are in jungle rock Island or on jungle rock Island. And as you can see, when I turn my head, then the camera turns as well. Now, because we are outside of the car, um, it definitely does some weird stuff. <laughs> it's, it is, uh, it's, it's a very strange experience to be uh, third person with head movement versus jumping into the driver's seat. And as you can see, I can look around now. Um, I'm supposed to be able to turn and look behind me. Uh, I do have my microphone kind of in the way. Let me move this a little bit. Well, I can, well, <laughs> I can kind of lean out. It uh, doesn't, uh, your mileage may vary. All right. So, um, but you know, some of the other things that you notice with this, uh, it, it not only is tracking, you know, left, right, up and down, but it is also tracking the fact that I'm getting closer to or moving away from the camera angle. So that's pretty cool because like, I mean, you can actually get down here and look at that. You can look at that kind of stuff so you can see what's going on as you're driving around. So if we actually do start to drive. Oh, 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 I have not. Yeah. <laughs> wow, I have not uh, driven on Jungle Rock Island with my steering wheel and wearing the track IR. This is a unique experience for sure. Uh, I have to say though, having uh, a much better steering wheel than I used to have and having the track IR is such a, uh, it just gives you such an immersive experience. Oops. You know, such to the point that uh, if this were real life, I'd probably be wigging out about now. <laughs> no, not really. It's not bad at all. Oops. Okay, getting a little lag. Oops. Oh! Huh. Okay. I didn't realize I was going to hit the wall. Hmm. I don't... What did I do? Just slide out from under me? That was really weird. Okay. Well, obviously I quit paying attention at some point. Oh, we are sliding. There we go. Oh, if this was my real car, my wife would not be happy. <laughs> Actually, she wouldn't care. It's my car. I mean, you know, if I want to destroy my car, I guess that's up to me. I'm the one that'd have to buy a new one, right? Oh. 
but I just absolutely love this. I did not spawn in any traffic. We're just driving around. And of course, the main purpose of this video was just to show you that uh, it's not virtual reality. It's not a VR headset. I'm just using Track IR. Um, can you use BeamNG with a VR headset? Uh, probably. I have no idea. Uh, but I, I, I truly think that this Track IR stuff is so, so cool. Oh, look at there. Sharp turn coming up. Well, potentially. Oh, I, I should have taken the road down there. Ah, well. Oh my gosh, this is... You know what? We're going to go up this way. We're going we're gonna to take my bastion through a dirt road. And I will tell you, uh, I drive a Dodge Charger in real life. And I live down a road that actually this dirt road in the game doesn't even compare to the dirt country road that I live on. I mean, it is... It is, it is rough. I basically treat my Dodge Charger as if it were a dirt track racer because... Uh, it's a country road. You gotta have fun. You only live once, you know? What the heck? Why not? So anyway, there you go. Just a quick little video showing you that it's not VR, but it is Track IR or BeamNG. And then just again, I'm just gonna stop. Alright, let's take a look around. See? I love the dust settling. Uh, it's just, I don't know. It's just such a cool experience and you'll notice that as I turn my head I don't actually have to like look behind me in real life right the game uh, the, the track IR system uh, you you uh, what's the word I'm looking for you coordinate the uh, settings you, you coordinate the settings of the game with the track IR headset so that you can determine how far you need to turn your head and what that corresponds to with uh, in-game turning. So for some games, you know, turning your head this much is a 90 degree turn and in other games turning your head this much is just a you know, just a little bit of a turn. It's not quite 90. Um, and that's just, again, that's just how you, okay. That's just uh, how you want to do it, what you feel like. So I am kind of curious, excuse me, um, there. So what if we do hood cam? I don't know. I've not done a lot of hood cam with oops with track IR. Let's just go up here. Oh. Is this a road? Of course it's a road, right? Sure, sure it is. Ah. But there we go. Awesome stuff. Hope you enjoyed this quick look. Got any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories? Let me know down in the comments section below. Just want to let you know, I do read the comments and I am working on uh, providing some tutorials and some how-tos and some hints and tips and tricks and all that kind of stuff. So uh, I definitely do read through the comments. I may not be able to respond to them all, but I appreciate them all so, so much. Special thanks to Hero of God, Gamergall, Los Wilco, Connie C, Zachary, 7220 Gamer, and the Maestro of Madness. For supporting the channel as always thank you so i keep my hands on the wheel right thank you so much for uh, coming by watching the video hope you enjoyed it i'm david in arc we'll see you next time have a great day let's do this yeah come on yeah quit trying to hit me and hit me uh. Well, we get a nice view of the ocean from up here, though. Did I jump off? Ah! Uh... <laughs> well, that's so, that's so weird. I'm so short into the ground. I'm tall! Well, not really, am I? Short. I'm a dork. How you doing? We'll see ya. <laughs>